I'm not gonna do that thing where I list like 15 different themes and then at the end I tell you they're all the best and go pick whichever one works best for you because then you're no better off at the end than before you started. So I'm gonna tell you exactly which theme I think is the best for web designers building websites for clients going into 2022. And I'm coming at this from a bunch of different angles too because I've had an agency where I've had like five people working with me, so like workflow issues are of concern. We've built plugins with over a million dollars of sales, so like developer integration is a concern. And I know a bunch of the theme developers too, because we've either been like together on you know, speaker panels at WordCamps, or we've been on each other's podcast or whatever. And this is no reflection of the character of the people, like everybody's awesome. This is just what do I think is the best platform going into 2022 for web designers building websites for their clients, knowing all of the stuff that we've, that we've encountered over all the years. So the way that I see it, WordPress themes sort of can be categorized into one of three categories. You kind of have the old school approach where you have like the single purpose theme, you know, like you go over to Theme Forest or something, find something that looks kind of cool that you like, and then you buy that theme and tweak the, the pictures and the content and the colors and stuff and then you're kind of done with it. The problem with that is you get into a bunch of workflow problems because every single theme has its own documentation and you have to learn each theme. So if it's been a while since you've you know, worked on a site and you have to go back and tweak something or whatever, then you have to like, you know, so how do I edit that particular part of the homepage? And you're like looking through the documentation or, or maybe somebody else in your agency built the site. Now you got to do something about it or whatever because they're not here right now. You just spend all this time learning themes. And you end up with a bunch of time management issues with that. And I don't even know if a whole lot of people even do that anymore because now page builders are out, you know, like Elementor and Divi and so forth, where you can have one platform to build like an infinite number of different layouts. And so as long as you know the platform, like as long as you know Divi or as long as you know Elementor, you can have the same system, the same platform, the same theme, powering like all of your sites. And that really helps with the workflow issues because doesn't matter who in your agency built the site or maybe you built the site yourself a long time ago you can just go back in and you know how it works so you can easily tweak things the downside with page builders though is they're so heavy you know like you've got all of this code that has to load all the time especially in the in the editor like in the admin area when you're working with the site and they tend to produce fairly verbose code on the front end too so that's sometimes not the most efficient stuff to load so the downside for me with page builders is that they're just so heavy and you run into performance issues, both on the front end and the back end. And now we're up to the point where Cadence is out there. And Cadence is, I think, an awesome theme because it, it uses Gutenberg blocks and you're still graphically building the website in the editor without the page builder. So it just, especially the admin area loads so fast. In fact, we just rebuilt our site which was built on Divi and we migrated everything over into Cadence. And I really noticed during that, during the process of rebuilding the site, because our site's pretty huge. We got hundreds of pages and stuff. So we're constantly bopping back and forth between the pages and the editor and just not having to wait for the page builder to load saved us so much time. And then on top of that, the front end of the site loads faster on Cadence without any caching plugins than Divi did with WP Rocket installed. So we were using WP Rocket as a caching plugin to kind of get the performance out of Divi. But when we switched over to Cadence, we don't really even need the caching plugin because the site loads just by default significantly faster than even Divi did with the caching plugin. So either way, like I'm not saying either way is bad, like especially as long as you're using the caching plugin, you, know, you can build Divi sites all day long. We did a great job for a bunch of clients with all that and that's fine. But going into 2022, it looks like like Cadence is the theme to go with because it bridges the gap between beginner and advanced. So like if you're just getting started, you can just spin up a site, even with the free version of the theme, you can just spin up a site and, and be good to go. And, and it's, I don't think you're gonna run into any issues where you need to do something that the theme can't do for you. And then if you're getting a little bit more advanced, like say you wanna build a membership site or do some e-commerce, you can get the pro version of the theme and it's got a little couple extra widgets involved for other graphical display elements. They've got this thing called Cadence Elements where you can dynamically display different sidebars, you know, depending on all kinds of different logics. Super powerful thing. Uh, obviously WooCommerce and e-commerce integration is there. It's uh, dialed in with Restrict Content Pro. So like if you wanna run a membership site, you know, all the styles and stuff are basically ready to roll right out of the box. So like 
there's we haven't run into anything that we needed to do that you that we couldn't do in cadence and you get the benefit of not having to wait for the page builders to load and it's super fast on the front end and the back end and the last thing is it's really hard to stop the train you know like automatic has spent a ton of time in the wordpress developers building gutenberg and I, that's definitely the way things are going and we're to the point now where I feel like all of the benefits sort of outweighed the drawbacks. Because in the beginning, it's like there weren't a whole bunch of themes that made it easy to build sites with Gutenberg, and you kind of fell back into that single purpose theme concept. That's fixed now because of Cadence. Plus, there was all these other little things, little quirks that were kind of going on inside there. Like, for example, one of the things that kind of annoyed me as a developer was like Gutenberg uses comments in the code, in the markup, for important functionality within the site itself. And that was kind of a wonky thing for me, but okay, all that stuff is still there, but the benefits that you get from faster loading admin area, faster loading site, just a platform that can do pretty much anything that you want. So you can have one single consistent platform for working with all of your client sites, which solves all those, those workflow issues. I think that if I were in a situation where I needed to pick a theme going into the new year, I'd go with Cadence.